Hello, Lena James, to me. Welcome to JB Jumbo Online Mathematics. You are welcome back again to this class. Remember, yesterday we looked at remainder and factor theory. We only just look at the little of it, and then we could not solve questions on that. Now, let us see how we can solve a question. See a question on the board, a question just given, and they give us a polynomial, and then they say we should determine if this one is a factor. Now, there are two steps required to solve this problem. And I will obtain the same results. There are two steps to solve it, and I will obtain the same results. Now let's look at step one. Step one. Let's look at step one. Step one will be substitution method. Step one will be substitution method. I will substitute. It means that okay, what we have there, we have s plus one. S plus one. It means okay, given the polynomial, this one was the polynomial. It means that f function of s is what we have as our polynomial plus plus s power 3, okay, s squared plus 3s, so this one we have as our polynomial. Now what we have, they say if this one, we should determine if this one is a factor. Now to do that, I will say if s plus 1 equals 0, we need to find a value of the value of s, mean that make s the subject, I will have a minus 1. It means that here now, the value of s is now minus 1. We call what f function of Minus 1 into this place now, we call 3 open bracket minus 1 power 4 plus open bracket minus 1 power 3 minus open bracket minus 1 square plus 3 open bracket minus 1 and then close your bracket, close your bracket, and then we also have plus 2. We also have plus 2. Now, how will we solve this one? I can only solve this one. When you solve this one, this one means minus 1 power 4, which is like will be 1 times this, because of 3. Okay, this one means minus 1 power 3 is minus 1. That minus will affect here, here become minus, which is now minus 1. Okay, minus 1 power 2 is minus, is there just 1? Just 1. It means that here we will uh, be having minus 1 there. Okay, 3 times, minus times minus is minus, 3 times 1 will be 3 plus 2. It means that now in this case now, what can we do? It means that this, this one, this three here can uh, go with this, meaning both of them can go. It means that my three, three minus three is gone. Okay, here is now minus one minus one. Okay, minus one minus one is minus two plus two. Here will be zero. Here will be zero. You see now that we are just substituting until zero. It means that s plus one is a factor. S plus one is a factor. Talk to that yesterday on that factor theory. Whenever you have your remainder it is zero, therefore this the theory factor uh, the factor theory will go here. You mean that, okay, let us see the other one. Let us see the other one. The other one is uh, the second step. Remember, I told you there are two steps required. You mean that I can use the other step. If I use the other step, I will use step two. I will use step two here. Step two, this one now, I have to use long division method. Remember, under fraction, I have taught you how to use long division method. Now, what is the polynomial? This is the polynomial. This one is the polynomial. It means that I have to use long division method to solve. Now, this one that is dividing it, means this one needs to divide this polynomial. Let us let me see if the result will also be zero. Because we are supposed to have the same result. Now, this one now will be outside. S plus one will be outside. And uh, the polynomial will be inside. And what is the polynomial there? The polynomial is there, uh, 3s power 4. 3s power 4. And uh, we also have plus 3s okay, plus s power 3. Okay, minus s squared plus 3s plus 2. This is what we have. Now, it means that the one with the highest power here will divide here. Before what here is equal to three s power two, meaning this one will divide here. Here, okay. Before what three s power three here, it will be what three s power three. Now this one now multiply everything. I will have what three s power three, three s power three. This one will also multiply here. I will, I will be having a okay. This one will be three s power four here, three s power four. This one will also multiply before what three s power three. Now, remember I told you there is always invisible minus at this position here, yeah, invisible minus. If I minus this one, there will be nothing here left. You mean that now, let me now minus here. If I minus here, here, plus minus is minus. If I minus here, we will 
minus 2 x power 3. That's what I'm going to be having there. Okay? Now, not here, not here, not here. The total, everything here will drop. Before x squared, this one also drop. 3x, okay, 3x there. 3x, and this one also drop. 2 also drop. Okay, now, the next one, okay, I don't move again. Now, this one divide here, before I told you that, we, are, we only use the one with the highest power. We divide here, we have 2 minus 2x two plus 3 divide s. And we're having minus, and we'll be having minus 2s squared. It means that this one will multiply everything they did. There will be 1 minus 2s power 3. Minus plus is minus. Okay, this one times this, I will have uh, 2s squared. This is what I will be having. Please, when you are solving a problem like this, you must be very careful. Take it step by step so that you don't make any mistake. Okay, now, remember I told you at this position, invisible minus is already there. We have minus minus is plus. This one is already zero. This one is already zero. Okay, now what we left now, minus minus will also be plus. We minus x squared plus 2x squared. Here we want x squared. Okay, this one will go down. And this one will also go down. Now what we like to now, this one now, divide, okay, this one we still have the highest power here. Divided here, I'll be having a, here will be what? X. Means this position is S. With the S times everything, I'll be having what? S squared. This one times this, I'll be having, I'm going to be having what? S. Now let us see now. This one can go, because if you see minus here, this one can go. Now minus here now, I'll be having a 2S. There will be 2s plus 2. There will be 1 plus 2. We also come down. Okay, now we still have the minimum. Reduce this one until the power of this one is not lower than this. Now I will still have the same power, power 1, power 1. I mean, I cannot leave it like that. I will say 2s divided there. I will be having 2. Okay, 2 times everything for 2s. 2 times this become 2. Here we become what? 2. Okay, let us see now. When I minus the visible minus there is zero. When I minus here is zero. Therefore, now, can you see now? Therefore, it means that the factor, it means that this one, x plus one, is the factor. Can see that the remainder here is always one divisor. Don't forget, divisor. Here is quotient. And right here, this position here is what remainder. You see that the remainder is zero. Whenever you divide a polynomial, and eh, whenever you divide a polynomial, for example, like this, the one I taught you yesterday, you divide it by s minus a. Remember, I told you that if the remainder is zero, therefore factor theory will go. Factor theory will go. You mean that this one, this theory, is will go here when we are dealing with this one. Okay, I hope we are now working with this now. Just time, we just need one second to go through, and after which I will move on to the next example. I will move on to the next example. Thank you very much for staying with us. Thank you very much for staying with us. I quite appreciate for staying with us. Thank you. God bless you.